Hello, hello. If you don't already know me, my name is Amanda May. I'm a manifestation and law of attraction coach, and I have been studying the law of attraction for a good decade, pretty much a decade now. And it is my mission in life to help other women, anyone, anyone at all, to break through and discover the secrets behind the secret. I wonder how many times people have said that, right? We're all manifesting all the time. You're manifesting whether you know it or not, whether you want to or not. And it's just our job to do it deliberately. And it really is my mission in life to help you out because it took me a very long time until I really harnessed my own power. It took me a very long time until I truly understood how to do it deliberately. So it's so much easier than you think it is. It's so much easier than I thought it was. And that is why I want to teach you guys how to do it. So today I want to talk about uh, one of my first big manifestations. This is what really solidified my belief in the law of attraction. Um, it was about six or seven years ago and I manifested $500 in 48 hours. It was so easy. It really was. It was so easy and it's a simple three-step process. It is. You got to believe it's simple. That's the first point. You have to believe in the process. You have to believe that it's real, right? And you have to believe that it's easy and that it's simple. So I picked up a book by Pam Grout. It was called E Squared and it had to do with different energy experiments, basically proving that our thoughts create our reality. And one of the experiments, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was to manifest something specific and I think it was 48 hours time. So at the time I was in a pretty good money space and I didn't have needy energy behind it. And I decided, let me manifest $500 in 48 hours. Let me see if this law of attraction thing really works. And I was having fun. So that is really one of the most important things is to keep it lighthearted, keep it fun. Things happen so easily when you're in that good high vibe space. When you're being lighthearted and when you're having fun, you don't need things. When we're in that needy energy space, when you really need the money, like if I really needed the $500, you're pushing it away and <laughs> you don't have it already, right? According to the universe, we attract what we already have. We get more of what we have already. So if we really need money, if I really needed that $500, that would signal to the universe, oh, well, she doesn't have it already, so I'm gonna give her more of not having it already. You get it? So, I just got cut off, but thank God for video editors. So I started my experiment, and this is step one of our three-step process. Step one was just simply making the intention. I did it in my journal. I wrote down, I intend to manifest $500 within the next 48 hours. Simple. Uh, I still do that till this day when I manifest something specific, and I kept it simple. Again, I just wanted to prove law of attraction was real. I was in a pretty good money space, and it was fun. I wrote it down in my journal. Step two, 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 or peace, right? Two. I think I'm backwards right now, but it's the same either way. Anyway. Step two, for the first 24 hours, I visualized it. I felt the feelings of having $500 and I felt really excited that I got it. Uh, I would visualize in my mind like five $100 bills raining on me. I would visualize people handing me a check for $500. I would visualize myself jumping up and down and being excited and thank you universe. So visualizing is great. Affirmations are great, but you gotta feel the feeling behind it. So when you're doing a visualization like that, you're gonna call something in so much faster if you feel the vibrations and feeling behind it, the good vibes. So that's why when I was visualizing $500, I felt it, I felt so excited and I felt so happy. And I honestly think, I know, I know that that really sped up the process. So that's what I did for the first 24 hours. I kept it on my mind and I kept it on my mind in a happy way. I wasn't worrying about when it was gonna come. I wasn't worrying about whether or not it was actually gonna appear in 48 hours time. I wasn't worrying about any of that stuff. I was just super excited and picturing it and picturing that I already had $500. That was crazy lightning, oh my God. I have my ring light set up right now. So I'm like, ah! We'll just pray, right? Pray universe please don't lightning strike me down anyway I just started freaking out a lot about the lightning um, yes universe please protect me I am NOT gonna get rid of my anxiety uh, we can't have it all right 
So step number three, how to manifest something quickly and easily. Step number three was I completely forgot about it. And all of my big manifestations, or most of them, and what I teach my clients, and what I preach all day long, is that you gotta forget about it. That is the letting go portion of the law of attraction. That is naming our desire, intending our desire, feeling the feelings of, as if we already have them, and then letting go. So step number three, this was the second 24 hours, so we're going into 48 hours now. I literally forgot about it. Again, I was in a very good money space. I didn't need the money. And I forgot about my little experiment. I wasn't reading. I was busy with work maybe, but I, I wasn't, I didn't continue to read the book. It wasn't like I went on to the next experiment and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't, you know, fulfill the last experiment. No, I just completely forgot about it. And then I want to say almost exactly at the end of that 48 hours, something nudged me to go get a $10 New York State Lotto scratch off ticket. And number one, I do not suggest using the lotto to manifest money. I really don't because I, it, just don't do it. But something pushed me to do it. There was that inspired action. At the time, I didn't really buy a lot of scratch off tickets and something told me for some reason, go get that ticket right there. I think I was already in the gas station and I, I bought a $10 ticket. Who buys a $10 ticket? You know, I know my mom was buying $2 tickets my whole entire life. So I don't think I ever bought a $10 ticket until that time. So I got the ticket and I went home, I scratched it off. Again, I, I was not thinking about the experiment. I completely forgot about the experiment and I started scratching it off. So first I revealed $250 and I'm like, holy shit, this cannot be real. I double checked it and it was real. It was, I, I won $250. Uh, then I scratched off another 50. And then on the same ticket, I scratched up another 200 and it totaled $500. And at first I was just like, what the fuck? You know, holy shit, because I, I don't really buy lotto tickets. I, I'm not, I, I don't know. It was just so unexpected. And then I remembered my experiment and I remembered the book and I remembered my $500 in 48 hours. And I even looked in my journal at that very moment just to kind of prove to myself that it was real, that what I was seeing was real, that it had a connection to what I wrote down, my intention to manifest $500 in 48 hours. And I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I was just shocked. I was so happy. And it just made me a complete believer in the law of attraction. I knew from that day that was not a coincidence. I mean, I don't buy a lot of tickets. And <laughs> when I did, I definitely did not win $500 on them. It was not a coincidence. That was like exactly what I asked for in the exact time span that I asked for. So that solidified my whole entire belief in the law of attraction. And yes, you can you can do the same exact experiment. You can repeat my experiment. You could be successful, you could be unsuccessful, you decide. But I think the most important part of this three-step process is step three, which is forgetting about it. So just to recap, step one, I wrote down my intention. I wrote it down in my notebook. You could say your intention out loud. I intend to blank and blank. I intend to manifest $500 in 48 hours. Step two, think about it. Think about it all day long. Think about it and feel happy about it. Don't, don't wonder when it's coming. Uh, don't wonder if it's gonna come. Just feel really excited about it. Visualize it, feel so happy about it. Visualize yourself already having it. Um, if you're a writer, you could write it down. I'm so happy and grateful now that I manifested $500 in 48 hours. I feel so excited. If you're writing it down, I always try to write down the feeling words also. You gotta get the feeling in there. And then step three was just forget about it. I literally forgot about it. Uh, sometimes we can't. Sometimes when we're trying to manifest something that we really need, you know, money's something we really need sometimes. After that, I got into a bad money place. So it was very hard for me to recreate that experiment. So if it becomes hard, the letting go portion, step three, I would say the best thing is to just get yourself in a high vibe state doing something else. Go do something else, take your mind off it completely. Take your mind off of it completely. Um, just completely forget about it. Do what makes you happy and believe that it's gonna come to you. 
So that is my story. That is how I manifest things, money specifically, quickly and easily. You can read even more about it in my blog post and go check out my website for more updates, inspiration, and a lot more blog posts because I could talk about manifesting all day long. It's itsamandamay.com, I-T-S, Amanda May, M-A-Y.com, and I will see you guys later. Mwah. Happy manifesting!